Welcome to Integrated Emergency Management. Uh, basically, this course is a familiarization with the principles of emergency management. Specifically, it covers the origins of emergency management, local response to emergencies, some of the intricacies of the Department of Homeland Security, and other standard elements of the contemporary emergency management scene. However, of special signif uh, significance is the you know, integrated piece of the course. You know, frankly, no effort to manage emergencies is truly successful if it's not done in an integrated fashion. That is to say that there are a lot of variables and they rarely occur in a repeatable linear way. Successful emergency management is not about following a matrix. That's a way of saying that emergency management is both art and science. It's not good enough to have the you know, post-Katrina Emergency Management Reform Act memorized or to be able to replicate the entire organizational chart for the Department of Homeland Security with your eyes closed if you cannot adeptly apply the information, that information, to governors, you know, city council members, public works directors, local church leaders, and media outlets. And each of those, of course, have different motives for listening to you in the first place. Um, just to take care of a couple of housekeeping things, let's make sure that everyone's expectations are what they should be. You may have heard this before, but even if you have, it bears repeating. This is grad school. It's not grade school. This means that the expectation is that you are taking this course because, first of all, you actually wanted to, and second, because you expect to learn something from it. I'm operating on the assumption that you are interested in learning more and in sharing the experiences that you already have. And to that end, there is a brief section in the syllabus titled Course Philosophy. There I articulate the difference between pedagogy and andragogy. I won't repeat that here, but I do want to point out that in the discussion posts, it is really not about having uh, right or wrong answers, but actually about having thoughtful discourse. It's about exercising your mind, about drawing off of past experiences and adjusting your general view throughout the experience. It's okay to say, well, this is what I think, and later to change your mind. The discussions should remain largely at a strategic and not a tactical level. This means that you have not only the license to wax philosoph uh, philosophic, but I thoroughly encourage you to do so. Um, it's important to remember that language is important in the emergency management environment. While some terms appear synonymous, they communicate very different things in this setting. For instance, an exercise is actually different than a drill. Planning can be different than preparedness. And there are nuanced differences between resilience and recovery. Part of the course is increasing your familiarity with the terms so that you can maintain an intelligent and informed discussion with professionals in the emergency management world. Learn the accurate meanings for words in the emergency management context and then use them liberally. Your newfound lexicon will impress others and lead to more accurate communication. Hey, it's a win-win. Um, independent studies are a part of this course because compliance with them is required by the federal government. Now, while they all firmly fall in the category of pedagogy, there are an important part, they are an important part of succeeding in emergency management. After all, state, local, and tribal emergency management programs take their cue from the federal government. And just a word of advice, do not wait until the last minute to complete these. And for a couple of reasons. First, they can actually take longer than you might think to get through, and second, it may take up to 48 hours to electronically receive confirmation that you completed the course. So if you did it, and you can't seem to get the certificate showing the completion so that you can upload it, and you can't do that in time, you have no one else to blame. Two points of clarification here as well. Make sure you take the correct course. While the IS100 course is helpful, it's actually not required for my class. My course requires the IS1A class um, and also navigate to 
the correct portion of the page where it says interactive web-based course and then you should be able to see under the heading take this course and just click there and you're off to the races. Uh, the final exam will consist of two parts. There is a multiple choice portion and some uh, and an essay question. All material in the lectures, supplemental readings and quizzes are at play in the exam. It'll be posted on uh, that final week. It'll be posted on the Monday of that respective week and will be closed at midnight on Friday not Sunday like everything else on Friday. The customary Sunday deadline is not applicable to this week on the uh, finals week so that it gives me some time to grade them. So for lecture one that's it. Learn, engage, and complete. Let's do this.